do you think that there was an element of evil suspicion going on here? Just to, uh, again, recap, so, it's it's that kind of hermeneutic of suspicion. And- I would say the hermeneutic of suspicion was an overdrive. And I think there are people who are already angry with Francis who are looking to discredit the Synod for whatever reason, maybe for good yeah. reasons even, they want to discredit it. Yeah. But they saw this as something that fit the narrative of Francis the heretic. And haven't you noticed that people have hung their hat on this and they've used it to justify every kind of, you know, schismatic angle and comment about Pope Francis? Oh my gosh, yes. And, and you know, it keeps coming up again and again. I remember last year, uh, worldwide, we were doing a consecration of Russia and Ukraine to Our Lady. Remember this? Mm-hmm. And the prayer that they used for the consecration, actually, part of it came from the Byzantine tradition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and part of it is imagery talking about Mary, connecting Mary with the land, Mary with the earth. You yeah. find that in some Byzantine yeah. hymns. And people were saying the Pope Francis was consecrating Russia and Ukraine to Pachamama. Yeah, I think Taylor Marshall had proposed that at one point. There were multiple yeah. people claiming that it was a consecration to Pachamama, yeah. when really it was a traditional Byzantine image. Right. Yeah, but they, they then, keep bringing this up over and over again, and and then they realize that and had to retrace their steps. And right, yeah. what I want to say is though, there's something wrong. Okay, if you are a, a devout and faithful Catholic and you want to believe that the Pope is an idolater, mm-hmm. take a hard look at yourself. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I think that's a good point. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. God bless.